Welcome back, class. I'm at your guide here on Y Caliber. We're playing Star Wars The Old Republic, and this is the Inquisitor. We are heading towards the Dark Temple, and our goal therein is to open a chamber door and confront a dark apparition and humble ourselves before said apparition. Because uh, Darth Zash, who has been raised up thanks in large part to our efforts, is now uh, had a vision that such a thing would allow us to survive our confrontation, humbling ourselves. Whether or not we'll actually do that, uh, we probably, probably not, if I'm being honest. That doesn't seem like something that Mopan would do. <laughs> so, we're most likely going to see how badly things can go here for us. You two have fun. I'll meet you inside, okay? You other inquisitors. You have you have yourselves a good time in there. I'll be inside. All right. It's going to kick me off. Which way? Ah, all the way up at the other end. All right. We can do that. No problem whatsoever. We're just going to slip past all the baddies. And, um... Let's go invisible here. It'll slow our progress slightly, but it will also allow us to go faster because we won't be having fights. Hey, where's my robot? Keeps despawning my robot. Rude. Rude and inconsiderate. But that's just life here in Star Wars The Old Republic, where droids are not valued. Not as much as sentience, anyway. Do you think she's going to notice that we're sneaking past her? Nope. Sure didn't. Alright, what's going to meet us up at the top here, do you think? Well, we've got that possessed assault trooper. We sure don't want to tangle with him. Ooh, the dark mezzanine. Mezzanine is such an intimidating word. Hmm. She didn't notice us and didn't care about the droid, so... Victory? We have to keep going? Ah, the other side. Okay. We'll just slip past her again. One of the biggest advantages of going assassin is that I can do this. It saves me a lot of wasted time. What was that? Pardon me? Visa? Visa, comma? Alright. Ooh. I don't think this is a great place to be. Ica too. Hi, what's up? Hey, whoa. Rude. The thing that bothers me. Yes. I have been waiting for you. I felt your movements in the force, and they stirred me from my nightmare. Right, I so too weak to leave. I only knew if I made myself another the nuisance, you would eventually come. Well, here I am. The Sith throw flesh endlessly at what they cannot control. And here you are. Blood of my blood. Here you You seem as if you were expecting me. Ah, you don't know me. I sure don't. Has our family fallen so far that the daughter of my daughters does not know the name of Kallik? 
the name so long revered in the annals of the Sith. It seems unlikely. You are my descendant. Um, By how many generations, I do not know. Are you sure? But know this. Your strength in the Force has awakened me from my stupor. I thought I was crazy. Do not mock me, child. You do not even begin to understand who you are dealing with. With whom I am dealing, you mean. When the weaklings of this planet trespassed my tomb, I rose, resuming my former life. This temple became my kingdom, and I was once more a lord of the Sith. But when you first passed hmm. the hilt of your lightsaber, I knew my hour had come and gone. That your strength, not mine, would return our family to glory. Tell me where Tulak Horde's artifact is. Don't speak of it, wretched thing. Its master murdered me and laid me to rest in this catacomb. That's cool, but I need it anyway. In Bizoze, white dice, Bila, press in Kretai. In Bize, a Wanata, Atragata, in dice. Oh. Your master is dead, beast. You serve the child of Kalik now. Flesh of my flesh, you should teach your servant to obey. I will deal with him as I see fit. Fair enough. I only caution you not to take obedience for granted. Oh, I know he's going to try and eat me at some point. In restoring our bloodline to glory, you must not make the same mistake. Treachery is the Sith's endless game. You must win it. Don't worry about me. Beware your master. Beware your apprentice. Uh huh, uh huh. Never be taken by surprise. Do these things, and you will be unstoppable. But you have not come to see me. You have come for the artifact I managed to wrest from Tulak Horde before he died. Yeah. Take the artifact, but Thank you. I know not what it does. That's Only fine. That betrayal follows it everywhere. When betrayal shows up, I'll kill it. If only all things were so simple. They can Keep be. Keep your eyes open. I hunger for the day when our power will be restored. We will meet again. A little ironic that he's talking about keeping our eyes open. When his eyes are all... The thing that bothers me about this armor is this thing right here. Why is that linked by, like, uh, a rigid, invisible metallic bar to her chin? So that when her head moves, it goes and points in that direction. It's ridiculous. Anyway, give me this thing. But until I find better armor, that's what I'm using. Well, that looks like a Datacron to me. Maybe even a Holocron. Just put that in my subspace pocket. What's up, Darth Zash? Apprentice, do you have the artifact yet? Yeah, yeah, I got it. You wouldn't want to spoil the surprise now, would you? Oh, oh. oh you're teasing me, Apprentice. Yeah, I do that. Scotus. I mean... My chambers, I have a surprise for you. I love surprises. Trust me, you'll love it. Now I'd I'm better. With the artifact, I can't wait. Well, let's go back there then. All right, let's go see about that surprise. It had better be tickets to Space Journey. I've always wanted to hear their hit single, Don't Stop Believing in Space. Hold on to that feeling in space. Space Journey. Hello, Zashy Zash. Zash the Stampede. Fantastic apprentice. You're just in time for my surprise. Since you left for the Dark Temple, I've been reading and reading and reading. 
Scotia's chambers are a treasure trove of research. Now, who would have thought a man like that had such a curious intellect? Well... It almost makes me regret that we had to kill him. But I digress. I trust you were successful in the Dark Temple? You mentioned you had something for me. Indeed I did. And I'll get to it in a moment. But tell me, how did you manage to pacify the apparition? <laughs> Apparently he was my ancestor. Remarkable. A slave's lost ancestor turns up in the Dark Temple. And I sense your incredible destiny doesn't stop there. Can't help boasting a little bit. I've been Tulakhor's artifacts closely for some time. And one glance at this one you've brought back confirms everything I've suspected. These artifacts will change everything, Apprentice. You especially. They will make you more powerful than you could imagine. I have foreseen it. Great. I don't know. I can imagine quite a bit of power. <laughs> Never such as this. This artifact... Han Solo callback there. ...that together describe a peculiar ritual used by the great Tulak Horde when he conquered the Droman system. Until I have all the artifacts, I cannot understand the full nature of the ritual. But I have foreseen that you alone will wield the ritual's power. So how are you the planning to steal it? scattered across the galaxy. Some hidden by Tulak Horde himself, and some wrenched from his hands by betrayers. Oh. Documents in Scotia's effects point to Balmora and Narsha Da. But I will need to do more research to locate the other two. Um, what do I do to get there? Ah, yes. That brings me to my surprise. If you're going to find these artifacts, you'll need a ship. And so I have ordered you one. Aww. All you need to do is pick it up. Just show me where the fun is. You'll find your ship at the spaceport. Then the galaxy is yours to explore. Don't forget to contact me when you reach each planet for more information on the artifact's locations. Good luck and good hunting. Why, thank you, Darzash. Yeah, I know, man. I know. You're always hungry. Can't stop chomping down. Alright, let's, uh... Ooh, I've done Droman Koss on everybody. Nice. Right, what was I doing? Going to the spaceport. Going to the spaceport and we're going to get our ship and we're going to the spaceport and we're going to get our ship. Sadly... I didn't have the time to do a lot during the 2x XP time, so I may still have to do side quests to level up appropriately, unfortunately. And I apologize for that, but what can you do? Life's not fair that way. Ready for departure. I know. There's the spaceport. Enjoy your stay. It's going to be a while before we get there, so I'll see you when we arrive. Alright, we've made it to the spaceport. Let's go see what our ship looks like. I bet it's awesome. Oh, you've got specialty goods, eh? I've got the best hardware and the best prices. Warmonger's Saber Staff. Yeah, it's, it's actually okay. It doesn't look as ridiculous as my current one, but I kind of like how ridiculous my current one looks. If we're being honest. And I believe that honesty is the best policy maybe 75, 80% of the time. 82. 82% of the time, honesty is the best policy. And I'm sure you agree. And if you don't, that's that's fine. I certainly do. All right, let's go see what our ship looks like. Oh, it looks like my jacket flapping around in the wrong way. Oh, okay. 
It's the same ship the Sith Warrior has. Still, I like this ship well enough, so I'm not going to complain about it. Let's get on up there, ignore 2VR8's introduction, and do a tour of the ship, just in case you don't remember what it looks like on the inside. Bye bye, Droman Koss. Droman Koss, the Pacific Northwest of the Star Wars world. It's always raining and miserable, everything's overpriced, and nobody can afford a home anymore. <sighs> yes, we know. Yes, okay. So, uh, I am really fan pro welcome aboard. We'll find the Astro Interstellar Priority lastly. Yeah, it's identical. Stop selling me the ship and stay out of my way. I promise to limit all future combos. I regret, however, should whenever you want. Goodbye forever to VR8. I never want to hear from you again. Kemval wants to chat, though. I've got time for you. Uh-huh. I know. <laughs> At least I'm not a corpse. I just did. What you gonna do about it? Okay. Have you already forgotten about our honorable combat? Ni havashun isquis kai jukai we jans in how mana. Poor baby. Ufar aleze rekajaja. All right. Well, that's cool. I guess. I'm glad that you're such an angry and unsatisfied individual. That's exactly the kind of person we want watching our back. All right. I guess it is now time. Well, okay, I'll give you the the 10 cent tour of the ship. Storage. Engines. Main area thing. Captain's room. Captain's quarters. Med bay. Empty back to tank. Barracks. And the comm room, which we might use once throughout the entire story. Maybe. We will see. Now, as I recall, Balmora is probably our next stop. Yep. Almora. This is the bridge. There's Droman Kass. And let's fly over to Balmora and see what they want from us there. All I want to do is just zoom, zoom, zoom to Balmora. Yep. Excellent. You've arrived safely on Balmora, I see. I'm in Balmoran orbit. I hope you're ready to work. Balmorbit, if you will. I have a good idea of where the ancient artifact is on Balmora, but it's not pleasant. Great. You mean like a rancor with a rash, or...? You have a vivid imagination, apprentice. Tulak Horde hid his artifact in a vault on Balmora, one that was later converted by the Balmorans into a toxic waste storage facility. But the world oh. was hit badly in the last war. It's now a crater filled with toxic waste. Your artifact is at the bottom. I'll just get some diving gear and go. If only it were that simple. I'm afraid the waste would kill even you, my apprentice. 
That's what the diving gear is for. In contact with the Imperial Resources Officer here on Balmora, Major Vesica. Vesica knows the planet, and he may even have a few good ideas. I sincerely doubt it. Those who succeed without the Force make up for what they lack with a certain resourcefulness. Maybe. Don't write Vesica off. The Empire has its hands full, coping with a violent Balmoran uprising. Officially, they're a grassroots militia. Secretly, they have the Republic's full backing. I've informed Major Vesica of the Republic's involvement, so he will be better equipped to assist you. No doubt the Republic's hounds will get in your way. I will destroy the enemies of the Empire. I expect nothing less. But the war is secondary to the artifact. Retrieve the artifact and try to be discreet. We don't want the entire Sith Order chasing our prize. All right, let's get down there. The upside is I don't have to spend any time getting used to finding my way around the ship. I know this ship. This is Ophelis's ship. Though I'm sure they've changed its name in a token attempt to differentiate it. I mean, it makes sense that the Sith would use a fairly uh, standard fleet, right? They'd find a, a, a design that works and stick with it. <sighs> Battleground Belmora. What's happening? Oh, nothing's happening. Just that's kind of confusing looking. Give me back my droid. I swear. They keep taking him away from me. Or her. I don't know. I think most droids present as male? I can't offhand think of a droid who's referred to as female in the Star Wars lore. I'm sure there is one. I just can't think of them at the moment. Maybe you can help in the comments below. What female droids existed in the Star Wars universe? Ah, Balmoran Spaceport. What a place to be. Okay, well, we've made it here. And I think we're going to pop outside briefly. There we are. Welcome to Balmora. As you can see, the city shield is well in play. The planetary defenses are doing their thing. And it is time for us to speak to Major Bessiker. And we'll do that when we return. So until then, all the best.